nor show favor to the young. They didn't show favor to our young men, our young women, because they was young. They put out, they put them out. If, listen, if they was able to walk, they was out in that field with their mama. But a lot of times, the babies were actually sold to other places. You understand? That's why it's so important that we do what this Bible says. Because the Lord, the Lord would jack us up like this again. We don't want that, right? Read. That's it? Okay, so today y'all learned that, what all y'all learned today? I want to I do a recap, okay? What you learned? Denise, Janae, Bernie, and Dimitri, right? Demetrius. 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 All right, so, so, so y'all understand everything that my brother was bringing out? So y'all understand that y'all are God's chosen children, right? So we, we, got to, we got to come back to doing what he told us to do, right? So what we got to do is clean our life up, correct? Y'all want to do that? Give me Psalms 119 and 9 real quick. Because, you know, all of us have been y'all age. And we we wish we would have got this knowledge at y'all age. Y'all got y'all getting the greatest knowledge ever at what 11, 12 years old? I wish I could have got this at 11, 12 years old. It'd have kept me out of a whole lot of trouble. Right. Right? Because y'all don't want to grow up going through the mistakes we went through. Y'all don't want to grow up going through the states your parents went through. You understand? Y'all want to have a good life, but according to God, you know, we got to do His commandments, and He will provide us with that good life. Y'all understand that? Read that. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 119 and verse 9. Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way? It says, wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his ways? How, how can a young man or young woman clean up her ways, clean up her life? Read. By taking heed there too, according to thy word. Taking heed according to the word. So today y'all found out that the word is what? What was we what what, what what word was he reading from? The Bible. The Bible. So we got to clean our lives up according to this Bible. Correct? That's it on that? Yes, sir. You know? Alright. So today, um, y'all know what today is what's so special about today? It's the Sabbath day. Y'all ever heard of the Sabbath day? You have? What you heard about? Uh huh. I don't know what so guess what? The Sabbath day, give me that. The Sabbath day is a day that the Most High God gave to His children. He gave us, He gave us, He, he gave us the Sabbath day to, um, hey, He gave us the Sabbath day to rest or whatever, right? And He commanded the prophets to come out here and teach the people. So listen to this. Because I got a question. Y'all ever seen Big Mama's house? Y'all have? You seen Big Mama's house? So you know Big Mama's house, how they got up? They got up on that Sunday morning, got ready for church. They went out, and they came back, and Big Mama did what? She cooked that soul food, right? But, you know, that's not the Sabbath day according to God. The Sabbath day, which is today, is on Saturday, right? And we're going to show you what you're supposed to do on the Lord's Sabbath day, okay? Read that. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 20 and verse 8. Uh -huh. yep. Remember the Sabbath day. So, the Lord said, remember the Sabbath day. Because, look, when we went into slavery right here, they taught us that, what? The Sabbath day is on Sunday. We forgot. That's why the Lord said, remember the Sabbath day, because we were going to forget. Hold that, get Jeremiah 17 and 4 real quick. To prove that we were going to forget, because... You say you you wasn't taught, right, that the Sabbath day was Saturday. You was taught that it was Sunday, right? No, no, no. We went to church on Saturday. Y'all did go to church on Saturday? Oh, so what y'all was like, um, Jehovah Witness, Seventh day of Venice or something? Seventh day of Venice. Seventh day of Venice. Okay, so, yes, so the Sabbath is uh, on Saturday, which is today, okay? Hey, sister, what's your name? I remember you. What's your name? Shaniqua? Tanika? I can't hear you. She said Shamika. Shamika. Hey, Shamika. I'm Gideon. What's your name, little man? Solomon. That's a mighty name, Solomon. 
I like that name. So right now, you finna learn about the Lord's Sabbath day, okay? What we are supposed to do on Saturday, all right? Read that. No. Yeah, read that. Jeremiah 17 first. Read it up. The book of Jeremiah chapter 17 verse 4. Uh -huh. And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thy inheritance. Okay, so y'all like shoes? Y'all like shoes, right? What's your favorite pair of shoes? Jordan. Some Jordans, right? So if you go to the store and you was about to get you some short, some Jordans for school, and they said, sorry, we out of those, they're discontinued. What that mean? They sold out of them. They don't sell them no more, right? So the Lord said, we're going to discontinue from our heritage. Read. That I gave thee. That the Lord gave us. So the Sabbath day, Passover, uh, the Feast of Tabernacles, that's all our, our holy days. Right. The Most High God said we're going to uh, read it from the top. Uh, Jeremiah 17, verse 4. Uh -huh. And thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thine heritage. He says we're going to discontinue from our heritage, which is our Sabbath days, our high holy days, our dress code. That's why that our people was, are, aren't being taught they're supposed to put a dress on. Because back in the early 20s, before the, before, before the early 20s, you couldn't find a woman in pants. Did you know that? All our women wore dresses back then. Okay? But now today, we forgot that we were supposed to uh, be keeping God's commandments, that we were supposed to wear our dresses, that our women supposed to wear dresses, that our men supposed to wear pants. Because you see, you ever seen, y'all seen Young Thug, right? What, young Thug wore, wore dresses. What about o, Odell Beckham? Y'all seen him? He had a what? What he had on? He had a dress on. And you, what you thought about him wearing a dress? You thought he was what? Thought he was strange? What you said? I thought he was strange. You thought he was what? Right. That's that's what we that's 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 correct thinking. A man should not wear a dress, and a a woman should not wear pants. Because just like just like a a, a, a woman look at a man in a dress. God looks at a, a woman in pants just like that. Right. The sa exact same way. That's right. That's why it's so bad. So a woman must wear a, a dress, right? Y'all understand that? Okay? And a, a man's supposed to wear pants. All right? So read that. Jeremiah 17, verse 4. Uh-huh. And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thine heritage. It says we're going to discontinue from our heritage. The, the, God, the, the heritage that the Most High God gave us, we was going to forget it. We was going to stop following it. Read. That I gave thee. That the Most High gave us. No man gave us uh, the Sabbath day. No man gave us wearing uh, pants or uh, dresses. The Most High God gave us that. So we should, we're supposed to want to do what God told us to do, right? Read. And I will cause thee to serve thine enemies. So the Most High God said, because... Uh, we went to, because y'all start going into sin, start our women start wearing pants, pants. Our men start wearing dresses. He said the most most our God said he gonna make us serve our enemies. You know that's why we got that's why mom and daddy got to get up early in the morning and go to work. Right. That's why because we was in the midst of sin. All right. All right. That's it. That's more on it. Read. And the land which thou knowest not, uh -huh. for ye have kindled a fire in mine anger. Because we were not here. We were not here originally. We was in Jerusalem, okay? But the Most High God, he said we was going to serve our enemies, which our enemies loaded us up, right, on slave ships and brought us where? He brought us here in America, right? Right. Okay. You got to Yeah, our enemies loaded us up and brought us over here in America. That's when they put these shackles and chains on us. Look, look right here. Look at, look at this picture. Y'all see this picture here? You see how we stacked up on top of each other? Is that right? No. No. So do y'all want do y'all want this to happen again? No. No, right? So guess what we got to do? They did. A lot of them did that. So in order for this not to happen again, guess what we got to do? You know? Follow what? Follow the rules. I accept that. Yeah. We got to follow the laws of God. Okay. We got to keep His commandments. Right. These women on here, they, hey, these sisters here, when we, we came over in America, guess what? They was wearing dresses. 
in the slave field, in the cotton field. Look at this. Our sisters was wearing dresses out here in the cotton fields. Look at this. See this? The, the women was in dresses because they, they knew we were supposed to wear dresses. I wore our sisters. And the men were in pants. Our men were not in, our men were not in dresses. You understand that? But we learned that here in America, okay? So let's get back to uh, the Sabbath day, okay? Because we got to learn all over again. They taught us that the Sabbath day was on Sunday, but you say you was taught that it was on Saturday, which is correct. But let's find out what we're supposed to do on the Sabbath day, okay? Bring it out. Read that. Book of Exodus chapter 20 verse 8. Uh -huh. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. So the Lord said remember the Sabbath day because we were going to forget, like you just said, right? Who's going to discontinue from the Sabbath day, read? To keep it holy. To keep it what? Holy. To keep it holy. Like they try to say, keep it holy. They go to church on Sunday. They think they holy, right? Y'all understand that? Read. Verse 9. Six days shalt thou labor. It says six days shall you labor. So it's telling you, six days you do all your work. You go to work every day. Monday, it was Sunday through uh, Friday, right? Then Friday sundown, that's when you cut all working out. You don't, you don't buy, you don't sell, you don't work, you don't clean, you don't do none of that. Rick. And do all thy work. Do all your work, Rick. But the seventh day. But the what? But the seventh day. Okay, count seven days from Sunday. Sunday. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So what's the seventh day? Saturday. Which is the Sabbath day. Yes, Everybody right. understand? You understand? You understand? Okay, read. But the seventh day is the Sabbath day of the Lord thy God. It's the who? The Lord thy God. So it's the Lord's day. That's why we're supposed to do exactly what he told us to. Because it's his day that he set aside for his children to rest. Right. Because we went into captivity. We need a break. We work every day. Don't you think we need a day to rest on? Y'all, listen, if the Lord didn't give mama and daddy a rest, guess what? Y'all wouldn't see them. They work all day, every day. Right? Monday through, Monday through Sunday. Right. Y'all understand that? Read. In it thou shalt do... I mean, in it thou shalt not do any work. So in the Sabbath day, on the Lord's Sabbath day, which is the, today, we should do no work, okay? Read. Thou nor thy son. Nor your son. So your, the, uh, uh, the, uh, the parents, neither their son, read. Nor thy daughter. Nor the daughter. So this applies to the children as well. You understand? Y'all shouldn't go outside cutting the grass, uh, washing the doll, stuff like, stuff like, uh, you know what our parents make us do, like chores on the, on getting ready for Sunday church. You understand? We shouldn't be doing that. Hey, shalom, brothers. Right now, we're going over the Sabbath day, okay? Y'all know about the Sabbath day? Jacob's who I love, he saw who I hate. Oh, you know about that, huh? Right. All right, so listen. So you know that today is the Lord's Sabbath day, right? What about you, bro? Hey, what's your name? Jeremy. Jeremy? Jeremy. Jeremy? So why? Jay wouldn't let him right. invent it to the 1600s. Okay, Jeremy. What's your name, brother? Kevin. Kevin. Hey, Kevin. I'm Gideon, man. All right, what we doing right now, we teaching the Sabbath day, all right? All right, read. Thy man servant, uh -huh. nor thy maid servant. So our slaves weren't supposed to work on the Sabbath day either. Right. Y'all understand that? All right, read. Nor thy cattle, nor thy stranger. Neither our animals. All right, like you have to, you have a donkey to go outside and uh, plow the field, so you can plant the, the, um, the like the corn and your, your peas and stuff. Y'all understand that? Like you, you ever seen on movies how they have like a donkey outside plowing the field? That we were, we weren't, we weren't even supposed to allow our animals to work on the Lord's Sabbath day. All right, read. Nor the stranger that is within thy gates. Neither the stranger that is within our gates. Okay. Uh, give me Exodus 35 and verse 3. Alright, so how many of y'all parents cook on Saturday? She cooks on Sunday. Your mama cook on Saturday or Sunday? Sunday. She cook on Sunday? What about Saturday? Anybody parents cook on Saturday? You ever do? Y'all eat out? Alright, so we don't even supposed to eat out. On, on the Lord's Sabbath day, okay? We don't supposed to do that. And we're gonna show you, okay? Because you, know, you got to buy that food, right? We're not supposed to buy on the Lord's Sabbath day either. 
But give me that Exodus 35, and then we're going to go to Nehemiah, okay? Read. This is the book of Exodus 35 and verse 3. Uh-huh. Ye shall kindle no fire throughout your habitation. You should not kindle any fire throughout your habitation to cook on the Sabbath day. All right? So no matter where you at, we're not supposed to cook on the Lord's Sabbath day. If you're here in America, if you're over in China, if you're in... Um, uh, uh, Jamaica, Haiti, you're not supposed to cook on the Lord's Sabbath day. You know? It says wherever you at, you don't su supposed to cook. All right? Read. Upon the Sabbath day. Oh, upon when? The Sabbath day. So any other day you can cook. But the Lord said this is his day. This is the day of rest. So you're supposed to rest. Don't do anything else. But rest, congregate, uh, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, fellowship with your people. All right? Give me that Nehemiah. This is the book of Nehemiah, chapter 10, and verse 31. Uh -huh. and, if the, and if the people of the land bring wear or any victuals... So, so if, example, if the people of the land bring food, they bring goods, you know, like, um, you know, like at the flea market, right? They have, like, food, they have clothes, they have teeth, they have everything out there, right? So the Lord said, read that again. And if the people of the land bring wear or any victuals on the Sabbath day to sell. When? On the what day? On the Sabbath day. What are they doing with this stuff? They selling it. Let's see what, let's see what uh, Nehemiah said. Like. Read. Nope. That we would not buy it of them on the Sabbath. What should we not do? Buy. Say it in the mic. Buy. We should not buy it. When? On the Sabbath. Which is? Today. Today. So y'all understand that? We're not supposed to buy or sell on the Lord's Sabbath day. But because we, we talked about earlier, the officer brought it out. We went into slavery. Why? Why we went into slavery? Demetrius? Sin, right? If we don't want this to happen again, if we don't want this right here to happen again, guess what we got to do? We got to listen, right? We got to, we got to pay attention because what you don't realize is, look, it's little boys here. You got little boys here. We got children here. Y'all understand that? Y'all ever seen Roots? 12 years of slaves? Give me that picture there. That's a, I think it's a little girl picking cotton. Where's that picture? Look, this is a younger, a younger girl right here. Picking cotton. Now that's the girl. She got a dress on. See? Look, 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 look right here. The slaves got babies in their arms. Y'all understand that? The people that put us in slavery, they didn't care about. Give me that. Uh, neither regard the age, uh, 28 and 50, I believe. 49. Start at 49. If you see, these people didn't care. They didn't care about how old we were or how young we were. They didn't regard, you know, our lives. So that's why we got to, that's why we got to do what God says, because guess what? We will, we'll go back, we'll go back. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 49. Uh-huh. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far. So, the so-called white man came from a far nation away, right? Read. From the end of the earth. Uh-huh. As swift as the eagle flies. It says as swift as the eagle flies. What's the what's the uh, national bird for America? The what? The bald eagle. The, the characteristics of an eagle, they're they a hunter. They hunt. They'll kill any hey, bald eagles will try well, they will kill a deer. And you know a deer is way bigger than a bald eagle. They don't care. They're very fish. They're, they're predatorial birds. Y'all understand? No other bird mess with a bald eagle. Y'all know that. Are these the top? top gun, right? The top dog. Read. A nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand. Because we didn't understand the, the tongue of these people that came and got us, did we? Did we understand the language when they came and got us? They was talking like a foreign language to us, right? Read. A nation of fierce countenance. Uh-huh. Which shall not regard the person of the old. The person of what? Of the old. Oh, that's talking about grandma. They're talking about granddaddy. They didn't care about the grandmother's granddaddy. They didn't care about that. They put them out in the slave fields as well. You know? 
ring, nor show favor to the young. They didn't show favor to our young men, our young women, because they was young. They put out, they put them out. If, listen, if they was able to walk, they was out in that field with their mama. But a lot of times, the babies were actually sold to other places. You understand? That's why it's so important that we do what this Bible says. Because the Lord, the Lord would jack us up like this again. We don't want that, right? Read. That's it? Okay, so today y'all learned that, what all y'all learned today? I want I want to do a recap. Okay? What you learned? That we're not African American. Afri African American. But what? Girls have to wear dresses and boys have to wear pants. Girls have to wear dresses and boys have to wear pants. According to the Bible, right? All right, what you learned? Sabbath day is today and not tomorrow. Say that in the mic. Sabbath day is today and not tomorrow. What's today? Sabbath day. Which is? Saturday. Saturday, that's right. What you learned? <laughs> Come on. What you say, Vernon? We are God, right? But we, right now, we're not in our God state because we did what? We did what? Because we sinned, right. So, Vernon, uh, give me 1 Corinthians 11. Let me show you something else, Vernon. Um, because if you notice something out here about all us men, right now, while the Bible is coming out, you see our head? We don't have nothing on it, right? It's a reason behind it because look, a hat, a hat is designed to keep the, you know, it's also for fashion, but a hat is to keep the sun out of your face. Vernon, pay attention real quick because this is applying directly to you, okay? Read that. First Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 3. Uh -huh. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ. It says the head of the, every man is Christ. You're a man, right, Vernon? So your head is who? Stand up, stand up, stand up. Y'all stand up real quick. I want to show you something. Read it again. Uh, 1 Corinthians 11 and verse 3. Uh -huh. But I would have you know that the head of every man... All right, hold on. Vernon, Demetrius, you're a man, right? The head of every man is who? Christ. Is who? Christ. So who's your head? Christ is your head, correct? Read. And the head of the woman is the man. So, Vernon, Demetrius, the head of the woman is the man, right? So it's man... Woman, read. And the head of Christ is God. So who's over God? I mean, who's over Christ? God. So you got God, Christ, man, then woman. Right. Y'all understand that? Read. Every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered. Having his what? His head covered. Is your head covered right now? Huh? Right. Read. Dishonor of his head. So who's your head? Who's your head? Who's your head? Who's his head? Christ, exactly. So you got God, Christ, man, then woman. Read. Uh, say same verse? Yes, yeah, start it over. Verse 4. Every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered. So right now we're prophesying. We're, we're telling you, uh, uh, give me that in Revelation real quick. Uh, I really don't, better yet, don't, don't go there. Listen, every man that has his head covered, while the word of God is coming out, it's dishonoring their head, which is who? Christ. So, if you do you want to dishonor Christ? You do? No, you don't. You don't want to dishonor Christ, right? Read. Having his head covered, dishonor his head. So dishonoring Christ. Read. Verse five. But every woman that prayeth or prophesieth with her head cut uncovered. It's out of her head. So it says the woman that, that has her head uncovered when the word of God is coming out dishonored the man. So guess what you got to do, Vernon? What you got to do? If you don't want to dishonor Christ, what you got to do? No. Take it off then. You want waves? Is that what you're doing? You're trying to get your waves up? What's complicated? What's complicated? I'm trying to understand. Everything is complicated. What's complicated about taking your head, your your hat off, and while the word of God is coming out? Don't give me a First John three and four. No, First uh, John five and three. You love God. Do you love God? Kinda. 
What about you? So why you say condom? Like what? Let me let me talk. I want to hear what you got to say. Cause we are here for you. We are here for you. Why you say you kind of love God? Guess who woke you up this morning? Me. You woke yourself up? You think so? Okay, so listen, if God, if God wouldn't have put it on you to wake up, you'll still be in that bed dead right now. You know that, right? God controls that. You don't. You you believe you believe you wake yourself up in the morning or God wake you up? God, right? He woke me up. He woke you up. So who who put who put uh who put that, that who allowed your heart to continue to run while you were asleep? Was that him? Who was it? It was God. So listen, re, re, do you, I asked you, did you love God? You said yes, right? So you'll do what he say? What about you? You love him now? No, you don't. All right. Well, listen, take the head off. That's that's how you show you love God, right there. Give him a hand, brothers. Give him a hand. There you go. We out here for you. Daniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcast, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.